effect, bravo Charlie. I am trying out a new radio, an IC7000 that I'm getting off unpacked and on the air for the very first time. All right, uh, QRC, what's the uh, name there? QRC, what's the uh, name there? Name is Sean, Sierra, Sierra Echo Alpha November. Roger, Sean, and what's your location, sir? Roger, Sean, and what's your location, sir? I am located in uh, Northeast Ohio, Echo, November 901 for my grid square. Alrighty, and uh, what radio are you running today, Sean? And uh, what radio are you running today, Sean? Today I have an ICOM IC7000 that I bought from an estate sale that did not work. And I had to send it, did not work, and I had to send it to SAR Technologies up in Michigan. This is literally my very first transmission with it, and I couldn't even tell you what my power level is at the moment. Roger, Roger. Well, uh, you're not familiar at all with your radio. Is that is that a Roger? Well, uh, you're not familiar at all with your radio. Is that is that a Roger? Yep, that is correct. I literally bought it a week and a half ago, discovered it would not power on, and I had to send it to the fine gentleman up in Michigan. They have just shipped it back, and I've unpacked it for the very first time, and this is my very first test with it. So, how do I sound? Sounds pretty good. Uh... Uh, we could run through some things. Let me give you some notes to check uh, when you become more familiar with your radio. Uh, the first thing you want to be sure that that radio is running in the uh, wide mode, the wide transmit mode, 100 to 2900. Roger, Roger. Just just take notes there if you would. Uh, transmit uh, band mode uh, width uh, 100 to 2900. Roger. Uh, band mode uh, width uh, 100 to 2900. Roger. Copy that. I will verify my channel with shortly. I'm going to honestly have to look up in the manual how to do that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That will give you, you know, you may have other selections, but uh, uh, anything b above that, people will come looking for you with pitchforks. So you want to keep your upper bandpass uh, transmit bandwidth uh, to uh, no greater than 2900 and no lower than 2900 uh, because if you go lower, then you start uh, losing the uh, total capability of your transmitter performance. So 100 to 2900 is the ideal setting for your transmit bandwidth, Roger. 2900 is the ideal setting for your transmit bandwidth, Roger. Copy that. Apologies for the delay. I was taking the notes as you're given. 100 to 2900 uh, kilohertz. Right. And that's called uh, TBW, transmit bandwidth, Roger, Roger. And it's in settings. Well, the TBW, transmit bandwidth, Roger, Roger. And it's in settings. Copy that for the transfer bandwidth uh, setting. I will look up in the manual, which I do have handy here, uh, as we speak, and see if I can't locate that quickly. Well, probably the better thing would be just to take notes, and then then you can uh, uh, follow them at your leisure. Uh, then we would go into our normal setup procedure, which is a compressor processor on at a uh, 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100, depending on how your input to your uh, compressor processor is labeled. We want just a third of the capability, uh, nothing great, uh, and you'll never hear it on the air, but uh, that plays into our getting the best performance later on when we set the ALC, Roger. So it's it's uh, 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100, just just barely there, Roger. 10 or 30 out of 100, just, just barely there, Roger. Roger, Roger, taken note of, and I will investigate. Do you have any other suggestions for me, over? Yes, sir. Then uh, you would move to your ALC with mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word, audio, spoken just as you would speak any other word in a QSO, don't stress it, just say it, audio, adjust your mic level until your ALC reads two-thirds. So it's uh, audio, and, it's, and mainly the first part of that word, you would become a human test tone generator as you say the word audio, and it then just uh, uh, adjust your mic gain until your ALC shows uh, two-thirds, Roger. Until your ALC shows uh, two-thirds. 
show you AOC shows uh, two thirds. Roger. Copy that on the two thirds setting recommendation for the ALC. I'm looking. I do have a meter here on the front of the radio, and it shows me that my initial setting is sitting at 50 percent midpoint. Yes, sir. so two-thirds will give you just a little bit more, and it, um, uh, you, you know, we used to say, speak quickly, one, two, three, four, 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 and adjust your mic level between mid-scale and two-thirds, but when you use the word audio, it's such a precise signal that you can just uh, put your, your ALC meter right on two-thirds uh, by way of uh, mic gain control. You, there's no uh, wondering about it. Roger? Mm -hmm. Mic gain control. You, there's no uh, wondering about it. Roger? Copy that. I will make sure that I get these settings located here shortly and find the adjustments as necessary. Thank you so much again. Yes, sir, and your audio curve sounds really nice, really nice audio curve. Now, uh, is that mic uh, uh, a, a st the stock hand mic for that radio? Is that mic uh, a, a st the stock hand mic for that radio? Affirmative. This is uh, HM-151 for MyCom. It's technically a replacement, though. I can tell that the original uh, stopped working for whatever their reasons, and they ended up getting a second, but it is still the same ICOM branded HM-151. Yes, sir. Well, the best way to work that microphone is pull it to the side of your lips and talk across it, to the corner of your lips and talk across it. Don't talk directly into it. You get, you know, you, you get no mouth noises. So if you pull it to the side of your, your lips and talk across it, that would be the best way to uh, run that microphone, Roger. Across it, that would be the best way to uh, run that microphone, Roger. Copy that. I have made the adjustment now, and I am holding it at about... Roughly, oh, 90 degree angle, slightly bent in towards my mouth, but I am definitely talking across it now rather than into it. Is this an improvement? Over. Yes, sir. I would actually uh, touch my lips, the corner of my lips, uh, with that mic. Roger, Roger. The corner of my lips uh, with that mic. Roger, Roger. All right, well, I believe I am roughly there. I've got it about an inch or so from my face on the right edge of my lips, if you're curious to know, and uh, I am seeing how I can do now. Yes, sir, and I can't tell that you're running a, uh, a hand mic that way. You know, it's so clean that uh, it uh, outperforms most uh, desk mics when you run it like that. Roger? It outperforms most uh, desk mics when you run it like that. Roger? Well, I am hopefully uh, improving the way that I speak every single time here, and uh, I appreciate the continued uh, input. Yes, sir. Well, that's about it. Uh, gosh, uh, if you want to hear where it sounds like now, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook, uh, that will take you to our QSO Vlog air check uh, recording on uh, this one on uh, YouTube, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger? YouTube, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger? Copy that. Uh, just so you're aware, when you're transmitting, I'm hearing an excessive amount of feedback occurring. I'm not entirely sure what that is because it only started about the last minute or two. I initially thought maybe it was somebody who was tuning up over top of us. However, it does seem to coincide with your transmissions now. It could be band conditions or maybe there's something else going on. I just wanted to let you know. Uh, thank you, Sean. No, that's a friendly qrm -er, I guess. That is the uh, friendly QRMer who uh, visits uh, from time to time and uh, uh, says hello. And the only way he doesn't have the ability to speak, all he does is, uh, you know, uh, key his mic. That's his, uh, that's his forte, Roger. Key his mic. That's his, uh, that's his forte, Roger. All right. Well, I guess. Thank you. Please stop doing that. <laughs> All right, well, uh, do you have any other suggestions as far as usage or uh, settings changes that you might consider, I could consider making? I think you got it right there, uh, Sean. I think that would uh, do well. And uh, like I say, you need to uh, listen to your uh, uh, recording, and, uh, uh, you know, I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, uh, let's see here. Let's check one thing here. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, I'll have it uh, uploaded uh, to YouTube by noon tomorrow, Roger. Yeah, I'll have it uh, uploaded uh, to YouTube by noon tomorrow, Roger. Copy that. I look forward to looking you up. To confirm the call sign you gave previously while the tone noise is going, I, I received Kilo, Charlie, Niner, Kilo, Victor, Kilo. Confirm? Yes, sir. Kilo, Charlie, Nine, Victor, Kilo, Victor. Roger, and that. Are you copying me okay? Nine, Victor, Kilo, Victor. Roger, and that. Are you copying me okay? Yes, I am. I'd say you are uh, coming in about, I'm still kind of learning the, the numbers. I think you're around 4-8, give or take. Um, just slightly shy of 5-9 here in Ohio. May I ask where you were located? I don't think I caught that earlier. Yes, sir. We're across the street from Louisville, Kentucky. We're on the Indiana side of the Ohio River, right at Louisville. Roger. We're on the Indiana side of the Ohio River, right at Louisville. Roger. I copied that. Excellent. Yes, I have a fair number of uh, digital contacts. I uh, have an FT7082, which is my uh, first radio. This icon I'm speaking to you on is to become a portable kit long term, but uh, I uh, do a fair amount of FT8 uh, and sideband work. Uh, uh, that's kind of half of why I came here. Is this the band? Good amount of contact. A good amount of contact previously registered already. Uh, everywhere from Kentucky, Washington, or West Virginia, that neck of the woods. So, so seems to work well for my folded dipole configuration. Roger, Roger, Sean, and I have a, a Chevron on the right side of my screen uh, that uh, uh, is uh, will tell you what I'm listening to. It's got. Uh, uh, the SDRs uh, out there, and there's a light that runs up and down depending on uh, what I've got uh, dialed in to receive, and you can see that. So you might find that interesting. Uh, uh, that's uh, looking at your signal in real time in different places, Roger. Uh, that's uh, looking at your signal in real time in different places, Roger. Is this live streaming, or are you recording and uploading later? I happen to do a fair amount of YouTube work myself. Yes, sir. Now, this is, uh, we are recording now, uh, and we will uh, uh, post it up on YouTube uh, by uh, noon tomorrow, Roger. Uh, post it up on YouTube uh, by uh, noon tomorrow, Roger. Excellent, excellent. Well, I look forward to uh, seeing your video and potentially even uh, hearing myself speak at a later date. All right, well, uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, I appreciate your time here on the radio and given the feedback that you've provided for me for the uh, ICOM IC7000. I'm going to go ahead and hand you back control of your net and let you continue on, and I'll stay tuned in and listening in. If anybody else out there coming up next on the net has any advice for an IC7000, I'll be sure to jot your notes down. This is November 8, Quebec. Bravo, Charlie, 7-3. Bravo, Roger, Roger, Bravo, Charlie, 73, Sean. Uh, uh, good to hear you, sir, and uh, if you get a chance, uh, uh, join us next Friday. Uh, we'd love to have you.